everybody, this is Big O'Kill, the North Carolina Kilo, and we have a great recipe today, a southern recipe called chicken bog. Now many of you Latinos out there will say that the chicken bog is very similar to paella. And other people say it's very similar to jambalaya. Because, well, they're very similar. They have a lot of the same ingredients, rice, chicken, sausage, spices. The only thing that the chicken bog doesn't have in it that a lot of paellas have is seafood. But we're going to make a chicken bog today in a big pot. So we got our ingredients all set up. Here's our big pot, everybody. And in it, we're going to put some nice sausage, low-fat turkey sausage, cup of chopped onion, and some spices. But before we do that, we got to add some chicken. Because it wouldn't be called chicken bog now, would it? It's out of my chicken. A nice packet of chicken, about three pounds worth, and have it quartered and ready to go. So you got your pot, now you got your chicken, now you got your sausage, now you got your cup of chopped onion, now you got your three quarter stick of butter, now you got your three bay leaves, now you got eight cups of low fat and low sodium chicken broth fat free if you can find it, which I did. So to all that, I add about a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, teaspoon of black pepper, it's the pepper stuff that seasons it well. Kind of like the saffron in a paella, seasons that well. Get some seasoned salt, or if you want to go to Latino root, adobo. What is adobo? Seasoned salt. Teaspoon of that. Throw it all in the pot, because what are you going to do with this pot? Boil it. There it goes. And then what they call house seasoning, which is basically another teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of garlic powder. We'll mix it together before you put it in or else it's not going to be very effective. You know what I'm saying? So There's one teaspoon. Get your garlic powder out. And you can have another teaspoon. There you go. Mix that together. Adds more seasoning to it to make it chicken bog and not just rice and spice. Lord knows what else. All hanging out in your pot. And a nice big spoon. Stir it together. Turn on the oven, stove top, and get it boiling. Once that pot gets boiling, cover it for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm making some cornbread. So I got a cast iron pan preheating in the oven, 400 degrees. So you got your bowl, then in it you got two cups of awesome yellow cornmeal. Then a tablespoon of sugar, little pinch of salt. I'm not one for cooking with a lot of salt. Teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of paprika, Spanish kind of course. Whisk it all together. Get yourself another bowl. Cup of fat free evap. Two eggs, beaten of course. And a half cup of mango puree. Yes, you heard that right for cornbread. Mango puree. And of course, whisk it all together. Go back to your dry ingredients bowl. Add those wet ingredients and whisk it all together. 
guess where it goes next? Into that preheated pan. So after you got all that mixed together, you're gonna take your bowl, pour it into that pan that you've gotten out of the oven. Nice about this pan, it's got a cozy on it. If you don't have a cast iron that has one, you can use any old washcloth, anything for a hot pot, pot holder. Get all my remnants out of the bowl here, because this is going to be some awesome Dixie cornbread. And guess where that goes? Into the oven for 40 minutes. Don't forget to take the cozy off. Because you don't want to have it roasting in the oven. Okay, so I have removed the chicken from the pot. And in the pot, I'm putting three cups of rice. There's two. There's one more. Turn that heat back up, bring it to a boil. Got it boiling, let it boil for 10 minutes. Stir it a lot too, so that rice doesn't stick to the bottom of your pot. That is the worst thing when rice sticks to the bottom of the pot, it's all burn over that. Look, I took my cornbread out of the oven. Toothpick, it's dry, it's ready. Well, there's your plate. And it's time to dish up. But not before getting rid of the three bay leaves you put in the bag. Bay leaves spice food great, but they don't taste good whole. Get rid of them. Time to fill that plate. Got some bog, chicken bog, green beans for veggie, and a sliver of Dixie cornbread. And this is Miko Tiro, the North Korean Latino, saying enjoy a southern meal tonight. And if you're ever in the south and want to find chicken bog, best places are the barbecue places. A lot of them have it on the buffet. Some of those seafood buffets in Myrtle Beach area might have them too. I've never been there to those, mostly. I like to go to the straight seafood places like Shuckers or whatever. But if you go to one of those big ones like Krabby Mike's, in Surfside, they might have it too in the, in the part that's the southern food. Chicken box, it's beautiful. It's what's for dinner. This is Miguel Tino and Arcadino. Hasta luego. Have some dinner.